Journaling is something you all know of. Journaling is something that is always preached to you. As a good trader, you have to journal your trades, you have to go back and recap your trades to improve as a trader, right? So in this video, I'll be showing you and telling you, I'll be showing you guys how I use Notion in particular to journal my trades and, and have all my trading space or my trading workspace in one place, right? People are always faced with not knowing exactly how they can do this, people don't have an effective way of doing this but in this video i'll be showing you how i use this notion to do it as well so without further ado let's just head straight to the computer this is my workspace and i call it michael's workspace that's my name you know michael's workspace you can name it whatever name you want to name it anything but i call it my workspace and it comes with some modes of inspiration the price of success is hard work dedication to the job at hand and determination that whether or whether we win or lose, we have applied the best of, our, of ourselves to the tax and at hand by Vince Lombardi. Yeah. So I have um I have this stuff. I'm um, have this thing written. So when I come here, I always read it and it motivates me to keep working harder and keep putting in the good work I am putting and not thinking about giving up or something. And I also have written. Um, notes of what the best traders do you can see that I, all these things helps me it just motivates me when i come to the market it just makes me have a proper mindset when i come to the market so right in my workspace because this is what i all like this is my like my job i call it my job because i have trading included there i have content creation that's my youtube i have my project table and my get to do lists right on, in my dashboard yet so so everything is just contained in just this page right so let's get to the trading that's what we're more focused on so in this trading i have it subdivided into different pages weekly asr um my forecasting back testing um observations and learning taking trades journal challenge account journals and also missed positions or missed trades so weekly asr was i i was the first um type of template i was using when i started using notion that was 2020 december i got this notion from from i think it is inspiration of from hannah forex yes this is since i was just a new person in, on notion i didn't even know how to organize it to my own taste so i got this notion from here Though I don't use this for my um, for my um, documenting of trades anymore, cause I feel like it's too it's not like it's not aesthetic. Let me just put it like that. It's it's kind of I have to come here, open the page, scroll, and everything. But nevertheless, I didn't delete it, so it helps me have these trades that I've taken in December. So I, even if I want to turn back to those times and look at how those trade positions where I can actually come back there and see them as well. So. And this was the trade I took 2020 around December and I had all these things yes then back to the weekly ESR I don't do use them again but if you feel that you can use you want to use this one you can also use it as well having each year down dividing them in different quarters we have four quarters in a year having each month each month have its own trades March and so on and so forth so but I don't use it again because of I found a better template to use than this so I have um also my forecasting okay forecasting I will look at a position I look for look at a pair analyze the pair before and after and write down what happened during those times how it played out and everything so I have uh, a new model for this I will have the trades here like for example if I want to have like euro USD euro usd i have euro USD, i have the screenshots down here i have everything then when it's in price is moving to that um to that um place i i will write i will shift it down to here euro euro usd in progress i'm writing everything i'm using in this euro usd chat and when the forecast as it's already done i right completed and write everything i also noticed right in in the um in the pair also so it, this is just for forecasting i think it's the last year and this year rather i'm really also planning on using it in this 2023 yes so after forecasting we have um the back testing data so for those that back test you know back testing is so back testing is not all about coming back to the chat and saying that you have to document this back testing data and have it in your 
palms already so that you'll have it somewhere so that you can go back and reflect it so when i started back testing for Euro usd i had all these things back tested here from 2018 to date i back i needed to check some stuff in the chip so i back tested it i stopped at some point but if i want to keep on back testing i can keep adding all these templates right here i can keep adding all this data right here and it's just going to be in one place it's not going to be scattered on anywhere also back testing data for gbp aud i have all these things written down i've not been back testing for a while so because but if i'm back testing i'll always come here and impute them and just make it everything easier to recollect and go back to right so also we have the observations and learning observation and learning is everything i've noticed in the chat maybe um times when you get hit out in the market or things you noticed in the market you just write them down and makes you these are things when we hear learn from your losing trade learn from the market this is all i do i just come right out everything i learned from that tree like daily highs and lows 2020 i was documenting how daily highs and lows has effects has effects in the market and how you can also affect my trading as well so you can see this was back in 2020 i still have them in check the way i wrote them the exact way i wrote them the screenshots and everything check right and also stop hunts discovery the way times i was usually he told um i was like stop points was my thing so i had to document this know why i these things happen and know how i could escape from all this stuff right so this like stuff on discovery and everything so observation and learning that's just all what i do that's just all what i do there so it's just that simple so back down to um taking trade journal this is the most this is the part this is place i spend most of my time in because i journal a lot i write down the trades i've taken every trade i've taken for that month and everything so i have this from 2020 to and hence for as god keeps us alive so i'll keep on journaling all my trades from all these each years like this so that i can actually go back and reflect on these trades and have all these things come you know one important thing of journaling is that the the more you journal the more you get the picture of how you trade and mistakes you do and the whole thing it just helps you this so intention to have this in such manner like this right so i have it like this every three that i've taken for each month um if i come here and view the database you see the database yeah come and view the data every three that after i took for that month of may four wins testing losses and three begin so this i think this was the moment i realized that taking too many trades was not it i had to cut down the pairs i was trading and cut down the trades i was also picking so this i had this uh, yes this was um trades with around me so i can come back to actually have the screenshots have the screenshots of before and after of my trade right and also even have the mc4 screenshots and the profit as well made in this position so right this also helped me a lot it helped me a lot so, taking trade journal so when i say journal i don't just mean documenting trades i have you can see how all my workspace are all contained under one space that if i okay if i want to get something on my back testing data and actually go back to back testing if i want to check something on my forecast and something i've forecasted before and higher i can go back to my forecast and you can just make everything easy right look this is my june exactly when i had eight wins three losses and two break evens i had to start taking less trades and it's just from journaling that made me grab this one thing you guys don't understand is that you think you have your brain can store this information but unfortunately it can't because there are other information it has to store the little trades you take and that sometimes you just forget about it trade right this position this was euro usd i think this was the position i used to pass right? mff 100k if it's one and this position was really it really taught me a lot so i still have this position here i knew what i actually passed through i knew what i learned for this position so anytime i look at this position i always have that thing in my head right I always have that in my head so i won't actually see this is not a good idea because it's a very very good idea for you to journal your trade because look how easy it is journaling your trade with notion is actually a very nice and very good idea so it's for july and so forth so we also come back to challenge account journal okay so it journals that i actually made i was trying to make 
um general retreats i was taking on my challenge account this was 2021 a lot of mistakes i was making because you can look at a lot of losses but generally made me identify the type of losses and make me keep in track with these losses see i can't delete this because most times i just see these losses and you just laugh sometimes I'm like god i made this kind of mistakes and you can see as far back as 2021 i can see i have this on my hands already so you can also do your own answer like that you can have a journal for where you take all your puffing act them trades for and everything gonna make it make more sense so i have missed trades at times you miss positions you have i've not used this already but 2023 i'm going to use this very well because i miss a lot of positions i'll write those positions down right what i why i miss those positions and why, right how i can get back to those positions i'm opportune to get back to this kind of positions right so this is just my trading um push on uh, my trading part of my notion that i use notion for a lot of things like organizing my life notion is like my second brain right that keeps my helps my productivity level keeps me very very productive so this is just the trading part of it and that's where this video is gonna end and i guess you should use notion it's you can have the there are different templates it's actually a very nice idea for me to even start using this because it kept me it kept my whole stuff together i kept everything i had together in trading and stuff so that's that for this video and yes you all can see how journal link can be actually effective in trading you guys can, you guys saw how i can i could actually go back in time that's past two years to see everything i did and how i can go back and recap them and recollect them so it's a very nice thing notion helps if notion is user friendly i guess you should also use it right if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a like and if you're not subscribed to so just do well and subscribe god bless you see you in the next